Oh. It's the controversial video some community activists have been waiting five months to see. Confusion. Still in disbelief. Texas DPS troopers called in by DPD to help patrol parts of South Dallas in summer 2019. Dash cam video shows troopers spotting Shaston Hodge making a left turn without signaling on August 17th. The video shows Hodge failing to stop and driving through residential streets as troopers followed with lights flashing. The traffic stop becomes more chaotic as Hodge pulls into his grandmother's home on the 4200 block of Jamaica. People were already suspecting that something bad was going to happen with them being in the communities. Community activists, including Rashir Nose, Ray Bolin, and Daniel Davis Clayton, are among those who've long questioned what really happened that tragic night. Investigation reports show troopers Joshua Engelman and Robert Litvin giving chase. At one point, body cam video from one of the troopers shows Hodge exiting his car and pulling out a gun. Yes! Shots were fired, and the autopsy report shows Hodge was shot 16 times, three bullets to the head, the rest of the gunshot wounds covering his torso and legs. 16 shots mean both officers unloaded. That's overkill. No one even had an idea that that's what, that's what actually happened. You can see a gun lying on the ground near Hodge's body at the crime scene. We understand that we may not like the information that we receive, but we need to know the truth. The community activists believe the information about this shooting needed to be shared with the public for transparency's sake. Hey, let me get my med kit. There are so many in the community, they just still not happy. The activists say moving forward, they'll continue demanding transparency in all cases that raise concern. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.